Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Yeti, call it what you want. For years, there have been reports of the beast right here in western New York. So what we're going to do is a good old-fashioned stakeout. Bigfoot, we got one, we got one, we got one. To no one's surprise, uh, we didn't find one. <gasps> there it is, there it is, two of them, two of them. Now, Sasquatch hunters, I'm not making fun of you. I just want more evidence. Cue Stephanie Gill. I study molecular evolution. She is not a Bigfoot hunter. She studies bears mostly. The research team she is a part of at the University of Buffalo published their findings about suspected Yeti bones. They got the samples from a TV documentary crew trying to find some answers. The bones found in the Himalayas mostly belong to a Himalayan brown bear. The team also found something more. We didn't really know where the Tibetan brown bear fit into uh, the evolutionary history. Turns out the species is much older than previously thought. But when it comes to the existence of a Yeti, Gil isn't convinced. I guess there could be, but from what we have right now, I, it doesn't look super likely to me. You heard it here first, Sasquatch, probably not real. At least not yet, we don't have the proof. We're working on it, a lot of people are working on it, and good luck if you are. And if we do find it, well, probably have to take this story a little bit more seriously. But until then, Jeffrey Sack, 7 Eyewitness News.